All right, today we're doing a short throw shifter install on a 2015 Camaro SS um, MCW short throw shifter, super high quality. So we're gonna get this install started. We uh, already started turning apart the interior, um, but I'm gonna up update you guys as I go. And all we've done so far is taking out the center dash console and now we're just taking off the plastic boot. Here. Um, he just picked this up for a Black Friday deal. Um, the shifter he has in the car currently is just like a linkage adapter so it's not a real short throw shifter. So it's super sloppy and just it's floppy everywhere. Um, but this thing looks pretty high quality. It comes with all new hardware. Um, comes with RTV even. That's probably to seal up the transmission. So, this actually replaces the whole mechanism down there. So it'll give the transmission a nice firm feel on like stock. It's got this big old freaking Vans looking shift knob. It's kind of whack. But yeah, overall pretty good quality. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, this looks like the, the top of the shift padding. So... <clears throat> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so under the car we have this transmission brace right there. Actually no. This transmission brace right there. Take that off. We have to support this with a jack so that we could drop it down a little bit just to get our hands over there so we can install it. <clears throat> And then I don't know what else we have to take off yet. Yeah. Now he's just taking off the four bolts that hold the shifter mechanism on. Shifter boot. Yeah, shifter boot. Just got the old shifter off. Put it down there. Just removing the rubber around it. Safety first. This thing. It's just one more. There we go. It's like taking off the mask. Garbage. Yep, that's the stock shifter. <laughs> I took the bolts out too, though. It doesn't help. So, yeah. Micah, stop asking dumb questions, please. So, we're gonna put that jack right there when we lift this. Hey, Michael, will you get the jack out of your car? Stop jacking around. That's my balls. It's over there. Look like 14 millimeter. Oh, these two, things. Where did you put the jack last time? Little heat shield tabs. And then this uh, transmission cross brace. Do you, do you want to put it on the frame right here or is it going to clip this? No, and you put it on the transmission. Huh? Is the 15 uh, to take off the bra braces? Yeah. Okay. Oh. 
So Micah, start jacking it up. Let me start jacking you up. Jack it up. Bring it, push it forward. I'm gonna land it right here. Oh, okay. Right there. Go up. <laughs> short movement, short movement, short strokes, short strokes. All right. Now just put pressure on it, don't lift it. Yeah, don't lift it. Let me get... Stop moving it! I wanna lean it one over. And a little bit more? Good. A little bit more? Okay, done. Or the shaft. We have to not burn it. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. How about the drive shaft? Is that warm? Oh, that's pretty warm. Not too bad. Okay. All right. So now we're taking off the transmission cross brace mounts. Oh, Goliath, dude, freaking Titan. Did you wash your ass today? PB Blaster. Such a hard angle to record at. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. These ones are tough. This one's about to strip. Oh, there we go. So yeah, we have the transmission jacked up. We're just holding it. So we're safe. So that we could lower the tranny a little bit. I might have four bolts that connected to the transmission bracket thingy. Um, those are off, and then there's two more in here. They're uh, rubber bushings. We're gonna take those off. Get up in here. Thank you. Oh, I can't see. There's those two 10 mils, one right there. One on this side, holding the the brake pad for the transmission for the shifter. You can extend it. Is that a good angle? I can't see. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. That's there. All right, we're going in with the hand. You can't see crap. Where'd you learn how to do that? Oh my gosh. So just a little update. We got those two 10 mils off. We got um, the Allen's off that hold the shifter mechanism together. And then we got this, there's that, this piece off. And then the slider pin. Let's see. Where's that at? Oh well. Anyway, there was a slider pin that it was like this big and it went in between the, the shifter and then the actual transmission allowed it to shift. So that's out. And now it should just be easy from here. Just taking it all out. Don't oh, curse us. <laughs> so the 
this should slip over. So it doesn't want to. Trailing. The trailing arms in the way. All right, now we just need to take those pins out of the side on the trailing arms. All right. Thing is loose in here. So what we're gonna do next is slide the whole uh, trailing arm mechanism out. We had the two pins in there that you had to uh, press in with like an Allen key they provided, but that was like the hardest part of this job. It was just insane. Like took us maybe an hour just to push the pins in. So we got those out. Now we gotta take take the trailing arm off. <laughs> so we got, we got it out. Look how much room we had to work with to get that pin out. Is it still in there? Yeah, it's still in there. That's crazy. <laughs> but we had a lot of room on this side. Just nothing on that. That pin is still in there. So we had to freaking use a pry bar and pry the whole tranny over. Good thing there was enough flex. Well, that was a pain, dude. And well, now we don't have to deal with this thing anymore. Hit me up in the comments if you want to buy it. <laughs> This is like a new um, rubber bushing that holds the whole mechanism in. These are the new trailing arms, adjustable. And this new shifter feels just phenomenal. Like it's so smooth, just it outdoes everything else. Comes with new shifter boot housing, and then a kind of a seal. Uh, uh... Okay, so. While he's down there installing the shifter boot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be installing this dynamat on the edge of the trailing arm so that it decreases vibration. So that uh, the video told us to cut it up into like band-aid size strips just so it wraps around this corner right here. And I don't know if it wants on the bottom side either. But if we have enough, then I'll do it. So, but that's what we're going to be doing right now. So, on a side note, uh, just be careful when you're putting this stuff on. I didn't know this, but uh, <laughs> this Dynamat can actually cut you from the aluminum. Just got me a little bit. Nothing much, though. All right. Now we're gonna go back in the car. New shifter time. Now we gotta put the pin in and install this if it fits in the hole. Can we take the shifter knob off? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go back under. Okay. Yeah. You want me to hold it from up top?
Going like this. Okay. Which way? This thing facing up. Okay. So they go in like this. So yeah, I just replaced the ones already up there. Mm. So that's a blue, that shifter brace, brand new, all billet aluminum. And that slid on real easy. Got the trailing arms, installed one right there. One right there. Trailing arms were a little difficult because this pin did not want to slide out. So we had to pry the transmission over and shift it so that the pin could go in. But other than that, this install was five out of 10. Uh, just had a problem with disengaging the pins in there on both sides because you have to pry up and push So that was the only problem, but other than that this whole install is pretty easy Install and all done. Just imagine we cut those mufflers off. Beautiful. That's why I want to cut them off. <laughs> it almost sounds tin canny. Alright, so. Has a super good feel. It's just <laughs> perfect. Just got the shifter installed. Feels amazing. Nice and notchy like it should be. Yeah, so they gave us padding, new boot, and then new um, shifter brace. I'll show you under there. 